Hey guys, my name is Jackie, and this is my corner. <laughs> so today is day five. Ugh. Day five and the final day. Wow. Did you guys see all that spit come out my mouth? <laughs> I'm done. It is day five and the final day of Jack Queen Miss. Today is the final giveaway. Um, just a complete sidebar away from the Jack Queen Miss. I still have the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette for when I reach my 100 subscribers. So, share, share, share. Because um, it'll be a nice gift to get for Christmas too. I mean, why not, right? Anyway, if you like this look that I'm giving you today, just keep watching the video. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So here, sorry I'm out of focus, wow. Here I have the Lux Eye Palette, and I it's from Tarte. I love this palette, it's beautiful. Although, funny enough, did not have everything I wanted for this look? Um, so I'm using the Midnight Magic color, which is the deep navy blue, and I'm gonna put that in my outer corner and into my crease. Here I'm taking my Too Faced Multi-Purpose or Multi-Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chestnut and I'm just going to cut my crease with my new perfect brush for cutting the crease from Anastasia Beverly Hills brush number 18. It is phenomenal, perfectly shaped to cut the crease. So here at the end of where I'm cutting the crease, I'm just going to take my finger and pat that end so, or the edge so it's not so harsh, basically giving it a nice blend. So now I'm going into this ColourPop Retman Collab Wet Palette and I'm taking the shade Thickums. It is essentially silver. Not essentially, it is. It's silver. <laughs> Which, the Tarte palette didn't have a full on silver like this one did, that's why I used it. So anyway, yeah, so this color, I'm just putting it all over that concealer where I cut the crease um, until it's opaque. So here I'm just going to dip back into that uh, blue color, which I forget what it's called, Midnight Magic, and I'm just going to blend it right into that silver to make it a very seamless look again. And um, seamless and continuous, does that make sense? <laughs> So here I am going into the silver glitter, which you guys, I kid you not, first of all I'm going to go with my finger and then I'm going to go in with my brush. I kid you guys not. This thing is called Gangsta, G-A-N-G-S-T-A, Gangsta Wrapper, like wrapping paper. Is someone kidding me? <laughs> go to, go to, wow. 
Go ahead, Tori. Go ahead! <laughs> So here I'm going into my ColourPop Loose Pigment in the color Power Up and I'm just going to take a uh, wet my lipstick brush. You guys know I use this as my inner corner highlight brush kind of thing and I'm going to put it in my inner corner. So yeah. So here I'm just using my finger to tap that edge of the pink so it blends more in with the silver. The point is here, blending. We don't want harsh lines except for the actual cut crease. So at this point I am taking the same Midnight Magic and bringing it pretty much right across. I know I normally don't, but I'm bringing it right across um, the bottom lash line and kind of smudging it out. So I also go into Thickums again, which is the same silver color, and I'm just going to put that on the first third of my bottom lash line and uh, just kind of blend it in with the Midnight Magic. Back in the Tarte palette, I go into the shade Spiced and I mix it with Up to Snow Good, which are the two lighter colors that are matte in the palette. And I just use that to go under my brow bone. Actually, Up to Snow has a very, very, very faint satiny kind of touch to it. So here I might be, be, I might be a little extra, but I just decided to take that Midnight Magic color and use a very thin line to make more of a stark um, cut crease. So I'm just going over the actual crease with the darker color. So here I am going into my lip liner, you guessed it, it's chestnut, <laughs> and um, I'm also going to be using uh, Oh, here we go. I am going into a Heart by the Sea, I think it's called, um, Cha Cha Lipstick. It's like a corally color, which I really like. And I feel like it has a bit of a cooler undertone, which goes well with the eyes, in my opinion. Either way, I love the way it turned out. While I watched myself get drowned in spray, in a uh, setting spray, I had a question. Can you have a mukbang if it's sound and you're not eating anything? Like I'm eating while I record right now. Is that considered a mukbang? Who knows? Anyway, here I'm going in with my Too Faced highlighter, the same one I used yesterday. 
which is the reflective, highly reflective palette in chocolate. Hyper reflective palette in chocolate. So, you know, got my cheeks. My nose. Guys, honestly, can someone just comment down below, please? Not necessarily for the prize or the contest, but just like, can I be validated with my nose highlight? I love it. Can someone validate me, please? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the look. I know it should be a little bit quicker. I did my foundation off camera because it's something I already did earlier this week. All the products are going to be listed below. Also, um, our prize for this week, we have a Tarte Mar Micellar Magic Water. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Don't judge me. That's rude. <laughs> I am dead. Also, I have here the Elfin and Selfing Quench Lip Lip Wow Quench Lip Rescue Duo. So it's two lip balms. And it's also a little ornament, which is kind of cute. And I also got a Tarte Chrome for the Holidays. It's four chrome sets. I just want you guys to know these are really tiny. Um, but they'll probably go a very long way. Like, I just want to show you these. This is how tiny it truly is. So, don't get fooled. They're tiny. But, they're powerful. Mighty and strong. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share the video. Why not? Love you guys. Oh, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. All that jazz. Mwah.